Hi everyone and welcome to Draw More For Kids. Today we're actually going to be trying to draw a zebra. Now he's going to be a little bit quirky and quite cute. So I think that the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is to have a look at your page. It needs to be up and down and we're going to try and draw a little snout for this zebra. Not so little actually. It's going to take up quite a lot of the space. It's going to take a fair bit of page. So we're going to come around, down. It's a bit triangular with the circles on the side. We're going to give him some nostrils. So one big spot of nostril there, and one big spot of nostril there. Then we're going to curve his face up and he's going to be looking down this way. So what we need to do is make a curvy line up, a bump at the top and back down over the side here. Just one I should bring him down under his mouth or not. Okay, here we go. Curve him up and over. This is the top part of his head. Come back down. Just give him two eyes. I'm not going to worry too much about his eyes today because it's going to be stripes that take over. So about halfway down, maybe a little bit higher, it's depending where you want to put the eyes. I'm going to put two dots for his eyes here. Now I'm going to work on his ears and he's going to have horse-like ears so he needs to come up and around to a point same back on this side. We're going to give him some more inserts. On this side we're going to do the same. We're going to jump over and down and now we're going to come back from the top here and we're going to give him back here that's kind of looking a little more pig shaped ears today but that's all right because we don't mind we're going to give him lots of hair this is very important for a zebra so starting from the line just bring all of your hair from ear to ear I've got a little bit of space I can put another one in there all right now with his neck I'm going to bring his neck down and just going to angle it a little bit off the page until it runs out of room. And this side, I'm going to give him uh, around about under that nostril and I'm going to come back and make it a little bit wider and angle right off the page on this side. Now he's looking a little bit more horse-like. All right. And now we're going to give him some hair all the way down the back of his neck so it doesn't matter how these go out. I'm actually going to do these out and then I'll come back and put some more over the top. So different sizes, doesn't matter. Right off the page and I'm going to come back and make it a little bit thicker. Put some different ones into the spaces. Maybe even a little bit longer in some cases. Right over the top. Make sure he's got plenty of hair. This is going to take us a little while, but that's alright. Take your time. Go at your own speed. And now you can see where some of these spaces has left a bit of a gap here. And I, you can fill that in if you just want to come back down with your marker and make that little shadow line a bit wider. And that'll just make, even there's a little bit up here, we could do a little bit there as well. Cull that in, make it look a little bit finer. Okay, now we've got to do some stripes. Zebra stripes actually do go in lots of different directions. If you look at a real one, the stripes are all over the place. But for this zebra, we're just going to go straight over his head with a loop there and another stripe there. 
then I'm going to leave a little bit of a space and I'm going to loop there and there. Leave another little space and I'll loop there and there. Okay, now when we come down here, I'm going to do the same and give him a jump over. Now these lines don't have to actually be exactly the same size all the way and they don't have to run in the same direction either. So you'll notice that on this side I've made a wider gap than on this side. It looks like he's being wrapped up in bandages right at the moment. So you jump that over and jump that over. And now inside each one of these we'll have a space to do our colouring. Here is where I'm going to actually colour. And the reason I'm not doing that right at the moment is because it's going to use up a lot of pen to do this. So I'm just grabbing a pencil just to give you an idea about where you're going to colour in your stripes so that he's going to be black and white striped all the way. And now for his neck, we can start around about here and just bring a little curved line up to his neck and another one up to his neck and then I'm going to keep coming down because that's what my natural instinct is to do to keep coming down with his stripes again it doesn't matter if some are wider and some are thinner that gives him a little bit more character just keep scooping those lines around until you run out of page we need some up here on his neck as well, so let's just keep doing some up here. Until you run out of room. And then we have to start colouring those in. And you can see now that once we start to colour those in, that he's starting to turn a lot more like a zebra. Now the thing that you can do to make him a little bit different as well is to put a little mouth under here if you want to. Make him a talking zebra. You can add some things to his to the top of his head. He can have a hat. Something to his ears. This does take a longer time to do the colouring, but you can just continue along and get that done, I'm going to speed this up. Okay, so we've got all these stripes done now. What I'm actually going to come back in, because the more I look at him, the more I think he needs to have another scoop underneath here to make his mouth full, and I think that makes him look much better there now. Also, we're going to give him some little eyebrows, because you know how much I love those. And I think he's starting to look very, very cute now. There's other things that we can do to him or do in the background. You could put a cage back here and it could be like he's escaped from the zoo with the zoo words at the top. You could have some trees. There's different things that you can do in the background. But I really hope that you enjoy drawing him because he was a lot of fun today. So if you like him, please upload any pictures to hashtag draw more for kids or tag draw more for kids so that I'll get to see them and I can comment on your wonderful drawings. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel Draw More for Kids. But for now, that's our zebra done and dusted. Bye everyone.